Hellboy. It was a movie called Hellboy. You know, the, the, you know it was a big movie. They made a uh, sequel to it. It was a pretty good movie too, right? But the movie it, it went deep into the occult and shit like that and witchcraft. And basically, Hellboy, you know, he was like a, a, a righteous demon, right? He was actually like a demon, but he was like a good guy in the movie. And then basically, in the beginning of the movie, the guy who was the director of that secret organization or whatever that Hellboy worked for. He was on the thing, and they, they said, yeah, Hellboy, these Hellboy sightings, Hellboy sightings, the talk show host. And then the, the guy used what was called plausible deniability. He said, look at me, listen, there is no Hellboy. You know, they show you that that's what they do. Them, them, them uh, 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 politicians and CIA operatives, that's plausible deniability. Look, look, he said, there is no such thing as Hellboy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that's that's what they do. They show you. In these movies, and that's another thing. These scoffers, they always say, hey, you guys are quoting these niggas quote movies." Hey, man, the Hollywood. So you're following Alex Jones. When we spoke yeah. about the Mark of the Beast, uh, the Mark, the, the the Mark of the Beast chip, before Alex Jones spoke about it, before he even came on the scene, man, you nigg- you niggas haven't been around us, man. See, you got to remember, we didn't just come out, come climb out of fucking, fucking uh, 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 time machine or out of a fucking hole in the ground a hole in the wall or come from another dimension and start speaking in 2007 man we've been i've been doing this thing since 1985 brother uh, before a lot of you guys were even born anyway here's another article it says all americans will receive a microchip implant in or I should say by but it says in 2017 NBC News reports, and this is dated uh, March 25th, 2015. So the technology is there, man, and there's going to be a big uproar, hoopla over this thing because a lot of people read the scriptures and they know right about the microchip uh, technology. The in 10 years time. They know about that. Time, that they know that the microchip technology is mentioned in uh, the book of Revelation. And the reason why Nate and uh, 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 Hyena and the rest of them clowns, the you know, teach. And then now you have certain Israelite the year groups is outside of us, the GOC, they the actually teach that the market of beasts is a chip. No ID the HODC, but they teach the same thing, but they don't put video, they don't push it. They don't. They just said it. They'll, if you question them on it, they'll say, yes, yes, it's true. But they don't push it, man. Anytime I see an article, man, I'm going to do a video on it, all right? So that's, and that's one of the, me, the last major prophecies. To me, that's even more major than the war and look with Iran, uh, uh, Russia being being um, instigated by Iran, Iran and U.S. trying to declare war against the Iran. Then it maps out because when that happens, that's that end game. That's when everything stops. That's when this system goes down. But prior to that, at the, University of the mark of the England, beast, the chip system, will have to come into full play before the whole si- situation with World War Three take place. So those are the last. When when the mark of the beast technology, the implant, the microchipping begins on a wide scale, and they go to forcing people to do that, then you know that we almost out this bitch. Okay. Yeah. Hey, well, that's a declaration of the Rothschilds. Saying to the world that that you you are my people, you belong to me, because in reality the Rothschilds they own the world, yeah. and pretty much everybody in it, a slave, yeah. right? Um, even El Apostle Ramla be brought out the fact that in that movie, the guy said there's no more countries anymore, yeah. there's just corporations. So if that be the case, who owns those corporations? America is just another corporation. So who owns it? The Rothschilds own it. And they're the ones that want to bring that chip. And then this is what uh, Aaron Russo admitted here. You know, uh, which the Rockefellers are nothing but the American uh, counterpart of the Rothschilds. And we found that out. They just changed their name to Rockefeller. Yeah, they do that. Yeah, which is, that's what they do. Um, reading on, it says, and uh, Hollywood director Russo goes in depth for the first time on the astounding admissions of Nick Rockefeller, which since then he doesn't exist. <laughs> including his 
prediction of 9-11 and the war on terror hoax, the Rockefeller's creation of women's lib, and the elite's ultimate plan for world population reduction and a microchipped society. Uh, that pretty much says it all right there. You, you got something? Else? Yeah, it's a, a precept to back up what you apostles were saying. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, verse, verse 3. And he said unto me, son of men, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. You know, which even to this day, 2015 going to 2016. It says, for they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. You know, and that's why they constantly bucking up, like the apostle said. They sit there and act as if, you know, these things are not going to happen. Like we just made them up. We're just following misinformation from Esau. Not realizing, and, and no matter how many scriptures we bring out, showing you that that's in the prophecy, man. Then not the scriptures say, in that day it shall speak. You know? So when these articles and stuff arise, that's the Lord showing, that's prophecy. You're seeing prophecy taking place. At the end it shall speak and not lie. And, and, and it's speaking. If, you, if you're spiritual, if, the Lord, if your eyes are awoken, you see it speaking. You see the prophecy speaking loud, man, and clear. Uh, it was a bro brother in um, L.A. They just had a... Uh, a mudslide or whatever the case out there on I-5. I and it, you know, Jack's one of the major highways out there. Jacked the highway up and everything. And basically, it took the brother five hours to get home. They had to shut the highway down. And they were trying, the brother said they almost made him go to this. It was basically a concentration camp for immigrants because you couldn't, you know, the highway was, was damaged. You know, but the spirit got on him where he was able to just go around. He just said, now nah, I'm going to turn this way, that way. And it took him five hours, but he made it home. But he said they almost, uh, Brother Dawayad or whatever in, in Cali, he said they almost made him go to a concentration camp last week where they, where they put the immigrants. So what do you mean there's no such thing as concentration camps? When you had to occupy Wall Street, they, they, Esau showed you they can make shift uh, uh, concentration camps down there by, uh, on the west side, those uh, piers and everything. They, they put those uh, fences, barbed wire fences and, you know, tie wrapping niggas tossing, locking, you up, locking you up in there. Well, you had the incident in uh, Fairfield, Connecticut. Oh, the uh, yeah, the schools. Yep. Now, the schools could become a makeshift detention center. Yep. If, if let's say, well, uh, m martial law is declared during the day, guess what? You ain't getting your children. They're staying in them schools. They'd be detained. The police and them were saying that, you know, we're trying to hurry up and get the parents united with their children. We know that they're, they're uh, uh, worried about them. You know, because they pretty much, when they shut everything down, no, nothing was moving. Everybody was staying right where they were at, you know. God, that's right. It says, for their impudent children and stiff-hearted, I do send thee unto them. And thou shalt say unto them, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, Yet she'll know that there have been a prophet among them. Yeah, and, and that's when you're going to know. See, you, you're, not you're not listening now because, you know, you have your freedom to get go about your, your everyday life. But when you're going to really want to listen, uh, somebody, can you get a, a um, it was Hosea 5 and 15? When you're going to really want to listen is when, when it's too late. You know, once they got you hemmed up, you know, like the Apostle Rakal said earlier, kick your door down. Tying your ass up, hog tying you, carrying you out the house, shooting your dog, you know, shooting probably some of your family members, you know, and 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 uh, uh, dragging you away by your hair or by your hog tie right into a, a a paddy wagon or something, driving you right into a a concentration camp, you know, hog tie, you know, from both your legs and your your hands tied together, you know. Hosea chapter five verse fifteen. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Right, and the Most High is not going to come down here himself to, to talk to you, you know, to, to see if you're going to uh, acknowledge your offense. The Most High right now is speaking through us. When we go out there and tell you these things, we read this right out of the scriptures, we're telling you these prophecies are coming, we're telling you that this is something that's prophesied in the scriptures, and that's the Lord extending his hand out to you. And those of you that are part of the elect, you will listen, you will hear, you will take heed, you will get on board, so to speak. And those of you that are not part of the elect, you're not going to listen. 
And then once the Lord withdraws his hand back, then you're going to want to come, come uh, seek the Lord, but it's going to be too late. That's what the scriptures say, uh, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. That's them, scoff that's, that's them scoffers, man. That's right. they, uh, they're smacking the most highest hand away. Yep. You know, the, 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 we're teaching and whatnot, and you scoffers. See, the Lord, uh, l like he said, even though only, listen, if you're not of the elect, you ain't going to wake up no way. But the most highest is, is, is all righteous. He's still just. Even though he knows that you're not of the elect, he's still going to give it to you. He's going to still put his hand out anyway. So when he destroys you, you can say that, well, look, look.